Let us now study an important uh, experimental setup uh, which we call tangent galvanometer. Uh, we can write that uh, this is a device uh, for which we can say this is used to measure horizontal component of earth's magnetic field. We can also write at any point on a surface where this device is used. Let's first discuss the construction of uh, this device, and then uh, we also see how experimentally we can measure the Earth's magnetic field horizontal component. You can see this is the device which we call a tangent galvanometer, in which uh, there is a vertical coil. Which is mounted on a stand, and in this coil, uh, there are several tons of a copper wire. So, in this situation, number of tons in it are 1000, and uh, the radius of coil in this situation is 10 centimeter. And at the center of this coil, a horizontal uh, compass needle is placed. Here, you can see the needle points in the direction of uh, Earth's magnetic field horizontal component, as we know, a compass needle always points uh, towards a north direction or magnetic north direction in which a horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field exists. Now, just to start with the experiment, first uh, we rotate the vertical coil in such a way that uh, the coil will be in magnetic meridian. All of you can recall magnetic meridian is the plane which contains Earth's magnetic field. So, here magnetic meridian is uh, along the direction of uh, earth's horizontal component. So, here the coil is rotated such that it will come into the magnetic meridian and the compass needle point exactly in the plane of this coil. Now, if uh, the circuit is connected in which the coil is attached with a rheostat and a battery along with a switch and emitter. Here you can see we close down the battery. A current flows through the coil, which produces a magnetic field at the center of coil. So, the resultant magnetic field where the compass needle is placed will be the resultant of two magnetic fields. One is the horizontal component of earth field, and other is the field produced by the coil at its center. So, this needle will point exactly in the direction of resultant because it experiences torque due to the resultant of the two magnetic fields. Now, in this situation, we change the current in the circuit by varying the rheostat, and we carefully observe the compass needle. Here, as the current changes, compass needle direction also changes, and we stop the process exactly when the compass needle points at an angle 45 degree. Because if compass needle is making an angle theta here, we can simply write the value of 10 theta will be magnetic induction due to coil divided by magnetic induction due to earth that is bh so in this situation when the angle is 45 degree this will be 1 and we can write that earth's horizontal component of magnetic field will be that due to the coil which is mu naught and i by 2r at this instant if we just have a look on the Current in the ammeter, you can see the current here is 6 milliampere. So, if we write down the values, you can see at the location where we are performing this experiment, the value of BH we are getting is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 1000 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 divided by this 2 multiplied by the radius is 10 centimeter, it is 0.1. So, simplifying, you can see what we are getting. The current in this situation was 6 milliampere. Here, as the current is 6 milliampere, and if we just simplify this relation, this will give us the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field will be 37.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla, which can be written as 37.6 micro tesla, which is the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field at the location where uh, 
we have obtained the current through tangent galvanometer which is deflecting the compass needle at an angle 45 degree so this is the magnetic induction of earth's horizontal component at the location where the experiment is performed